Hi guys, welcome back to Gisa Kami. So on this video, finally, I was the first chase, so I can share some fighting tips for you. This is the first time I've met Percy as Weeping Clown, and this is what I learned. The Dash can catch up with my rocket speed, so my rocket will gonna be wasted and I'm gonna be injured. Careful with your rocket throw, try to turn around, I mean not go straight forward. On this video, I will also share some tips on how to be a better kiter and can be applied to any character. Tips number one, when you got early hit like me, don't panic. Well, just hoping that the random will not gonna spam, you are on your own. Tips number two, understanding that every hunter has different skill, hitbox, persona, and trade preference, experience will share on your skill trust me tips number three knowing the hunter weakness for example geisha weakness is tight kite bone bone weakness is transitional kiting which bone cannot reach you tips number four kiting location is so important open space means you will die faster tips number five palette is your bestie for hunter that can be kited by tight kiting do not drop palette too early for example like percy geisha and nightmare this place is one of the most OP for tight kiting. Do not drop pallet too early for hunter that can be tight kite. See, this is 5 cypher, right? And for some of you that kinda say, Oh, that undead place so sad. Oh, the hunter look like looking air. This undead is sea badge on Asia surfer, Cyclope 3. And I am a unicorn. Okay, so the tips is just do some quick mind games. Remember, your finger need to be fast. Yeah? I mean, like I play in mobile phone. This is not on PC. You can't do it. So just like me. If Undead use the sword skill, then I will avoid the red French. How do I know? Because I also know how to play him. I am 12 action player. Tips number six. Wanna know how to catch certain hunter? Well, besides you can watch my video tips from my channel, you also can try to play on custom, on single training to know more. If you know how to play certain hunter, you can understand more about their strength and their weakness. Just play on single training. It's free, guys. All these tips that I share can be applied for any character of Survivor and also very useful if you play solo. I get used to play solo before, since 2018. I don't mind carrying random as long as they are not toxic and they are rushing cypher machine. That's all! As you can see here, only two cypher left. Crazy, right? I was kiting so long on that place and Undead know that he need to teleport right away to chase the cypher machine. But the cypher left is only two. Actually like one and a half I guess. Yep. And now changing target to the cypher and going for Mega Me. But remember guys, two other of survivor actually on full health condition. The trailers keep rushing the cypher machine. Painter is helping me, healing me. Actually I don't mind if I need to heal by myself, but I think Painter just want me to be safe, you know, full heal me and Undead also didn't go to my location because he's busy chasing the bot right now. So basically, the survivor side can really rust a cypher machine. I've kited, I've, I've, I've done my part to kite really long on early game and the mechanic and the rest of the survivor can rust a cypher machine too. This one has been penis. It means only need one more cypher. And the one is actually on this red carpet and the reason why i am doing other cypher on this moment which is on the graveyard as simple as because if the hunter let's say bring trump card persona and change to abnormal we still have backup plan or let's say if hunter really hard cam this cypher and the rest of the survivor cannot fulfilling to prime it on time it's gonna be dangerous and everyone gonna die over here near here so i need to do other cypher too Okay, so very important also to always ping the percentage of the decoding progress. Everyone know how how much is the percentage of decoding. If they cannot make it on time again, let me remind you, if they cannot make it on time for this cypher on this red carpet, I will gonna finish it on the graveyard. As simple as that. You know, this one is already prime. The hunter tried to use the sword skill, which is the red range. And remember, there is still enchanter here, so enchanters can help painter too. You know, using the stun and now using the painting of painter. This is gonna be really, really bad for the hunter side. I know undead 
Mm, might be teleport to my exit gate, but I still have one rocket, remember? And I saw mechanic coming to my gate. I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna use my rocket, I'm gonna dash to the mechanic and get the mechanic with me. But, <laughs> okay, so mechanic is going further away from me and I was thinking, okay, just split up. I also prefer split up because in case Hunter brings attention, it's gonna be bad. Well, I don't know if that note is for me, you're on your own. <laughs> I don't know. But, well, if Hunter has attention, no matter what is the Hunter character, it will be dangerous if you go to the same direction two of you. It's better always to split up, just like this. See, better chance to win. If you go, split up, just go to other exit gate, the other one, distract the Hunter to other location. It is good. But if you go into the same direction together being chased by a Hunter, it is bad. It is bad. So it has better chance to win right so that's the video tips i hope it will be helpful for you guys i see you again on next video and thanks for watching bye bye